So the Kuan Yin Bodhisattva has expounded that this Kuan Yin method is the best. It's the one that leads you to Buddhahood, if you want to be with Buddha. And of course, liberate it at the same time. This is the sure way, because it's direct. <laughs> if you have a direct light to New York from where you are, then surely you will reach New York. Hmm? Every other flight will go in different directions, but not to New York. That's the method that the Buddha emphasized for the assembly of his monks, including Ananda. And that's the method I teach. But, <laughs> you see, not every monk knows this method. There are some monks who came and studied with me, and they know it. But how many other monks would know this exceptional, best method of the 84,000 methods that you can choose from to enlighten yourself and also to liberate yourself with a master, of course, with the living master who teaches you, of course. It's not just the method, it's the masters who master it. If you are lucky to meet such a one and are taught this superior method, then you surely will be enlightened and will become a Buddha. Thus, Shekamuni Buddha, the word Honor One, introduced this to Ananda through Manjushri Bodhisattva, who exultingly praised the master of Kuan Yin method, contemplating the inner eternal sound stream, Kuan Yin, as this Bodhisattva spent numerous eons practicing this method for self-realization and for rescuing the suffering beings in all worlds. From 84,000 methods, the Buddha taught Ananda, the Kuan Yin method, the method to contemplate on the original eternal sound within and the eternal light within. That's the method that will lead you to Buddhahood, total enlightenment. But alas, how many monks know this? That's why they attack me, because they misunderstand. Not all monks who attack me are demons. Thus, I do not always respond to all the attacks. Sekamuni Buddha taught also many other methods of different levels to his uh, followers, as you know already.